Let me honor my mother before I smoke a bong load because I might get emotional. You guys are so anti-cannabis because I don't know what's wrong with you people. People, a lot of the people that I've noticed that are anti-cannabis, they have a problem with uh, facing emotions. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe uh, the reason why they get so anxious when they smoke weed is because they don't like changing the way they feel and they're comfortable. I, I get that, I get that. But don't call a plant a drug when the plant makes you sleep a little bit better, especially if there's pains and aches in your body. Uh, it does, it does. It doesn't take away the pain. I think what it does is it distracts you. It's like a distraction, you know? You start to think. It's a, me it's a meditation drug to me. It's a meditation. You don't want to smoke it? Drink it. Fucking don't do nothing. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. Huh? Hodge twins, do whatever the fuck you want to do. <laughs> but uh, let me honor my mother real quick before I do snap a bong load. My mom, let me tell you a, a great story about my mom. We live next to Barbecue Kimberly. They're the most controlling, lying motherfuckers I've ever met in my life. They're smiling your face. Oh, we just got back from church. But they're the they're piss and vinegar bellied people. All they do is just gossip and shit on people and try to control. And we weren't allowed to do anything. If my mom yelled too much, she would complain. And my mom yelled all day. We, living next to them was, it's like being in the, the belly of the fucking Lucifer and shit in this little community. Now, this cul-de-sac, I mean, I, there's two cul-de-sacs. There's the one at the end. I have no problem with those people, probably because they can't hear us. <laughs> but then there's this little cul-de-sac that I live in that's like the accountant that gossips and wants to smell people's balls. And then the other one, Barbecue Kimberly, dude, they're, they are trying me so hard. They are trying me. They try to talk to my dad in front of me, knowing that I'm, like, trying to get these fucking people the fuck away from my life. Now, <laughs> Mr. Fucking, <laughs> he tries to intimidate my dad, trying to get me to come out and be like, what the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you going to fucking looking at my dad for? No one looking at my dad. And then it makes me look crazy because they got cameras all fucking... No, I'm not paranoid. They have fucking cameras and they use it against me. I popped them in the nose and they only showed the police the part of me popping them in the fucking nose, not understanding that he had whooped my ass inside of my own house. The story's good. Oh, it's a, it's a good story. Thank you for not believing in me. Not thinking that I'm probably thinking I'm too stupid to, to talk. If you do something to somebody, you think they're not going to fucking tell somebody that you did it? There goes your reputation, dumb motherfuckers. Barbecue Kimberly, Kaganisu. It happened. Everything I say is the truth. If not, let's put mirrors up to each other's faces, motherfucker, and let's see who grows antennas first. Cucarachas crawl. All you cucarachas crawl. Back to my mother. So, we lived there for a, a long time. There was a kid that was playing drums. He played drums right next door. Right next door. He played drums. Boom, 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 boom. And one time we're outside in the backyard and he's having a conversation with my mom and I'm listening. And he goes, hey, Mrs., um, I play the drums. It doesn't seem to bother you that much. And she goes, no, no, you're good. You're good. Yeah. Um, I'll probably try to play between these hours so that I, and she goes, I don't care. Play, play. No, we like it's good. Play. <laughs> That's my mom with drums, dude, with drums. Why didn't Barbecue Kimberly say anything to him? Why didn't Barbecue Kimberly get up and say, hey, hey, white boy. Uh, I'm, I, this is my office, and I want you to stop living your life in your house that you paid hundreds of thousands of dollars for, okay? This is my office now, and I want you, yeah, don't you, I'm gonna call the, you wanna know why the cops never come when you call, you dumb motherfuckers? It's because you're piss and, vil, piss and vinegar bellied liars. Piss and vinegar bellied liars. So, and my mom probably yelled louder than his drums. She should have been apologizing to him. She's like, well, I'll try to yell between three and five. <laughs> So then there's that, but that's not all. We had a piano lesson teacher that was one, two, three houses away. But the piano, she played hard. She was like, yeah, we, we don't, we, when we strike the key, we strike the keys hard. And so we, we could hear it. And she gave piano lessons pretty much all day. And it was great. We loved it. We could hear piano. What a soundtrack to my life. Hearing classical piano and, and Mary had a little lamb and shit like that. All day long, all day long. Never once did we call the police on them. And never once did anybody else call the police on them. So my question to you people who really like calling the police on me. Is it because you don't like me? Or is it because you don't like my mom? <laughs>